Welcome. I've been doing strategy summits for 20 plus years for companies, uh, my own and others, and uh, to use this technology, this is uh, prototypical and also the design of how uh, you guys will be working is a prototypical. Uh, I'm confident that you will get the result I'm after. Uh, I'm confident you can get the result I'm after, and the result you get is really a function of your work as the team. And uh, uh, Jeff is here as part of the team. Okay. Mm -hmm. He is my business partner, but uh, in this case, he's the, he is you guys' team coach, advisor, and a, and a member of the team, really. So I'm facilitating the event. Jeff is participating, and of course, he'll tell me things he sees that I might want to know, and he's, he's a different observer of my processes and the methodologies I'll be using. You guys are it's familiar, but, uh, but he's here to fully participate, so engage with him like a member of the team. So five member, you guys are five members. So uh, the purpose that we have today is to produce a shared articulation and commitment to a vision and mission for Intercon for the next three to five years, to produce the set of strategic objectives and projects for 2015 that you guys say will set you up successfully for fulfilling that vision and mission. So that means, and that doesn't mean one and done, by the way. So planning is a evolutionary conversation that is always ongoing and what has to happen uh, to begin, to have the beginnings of planning. Does that make sense? And those are articulations, commitments, the commitments that you guys make as a team to this is our vision five years out. This is our mission five years out. But I like to focus you on one year, what can you accomplish in one year? And then these are our key projects. Now then, as you go forward after today and you work every week or, you know, and I suggest at least once a month, you have one of your sessions be focused on this dot plan, where are we, et cetera. More often as necessary, you evolve. You change your tactics, you add to them, you modify them, you, you, know, you ask yourself what's working, what's not working, you look at your strategic objectives. Is there something that's more important to us and higher leverage to us than we have on this list? Is there something we should add? Should we make a trade? Should we enhance? What I want to have you go out with is a constitution that you all are in aligned on, produced in alignment like that, and then you can work it. Uh, as we move into the articulations of vision, mission, strategic objectives, and key projects, I read all your work, and uh, while you may know what you mean when you say we're committed to X, it doesn't, it isn't languaged in the writing like I could tell whether you met the outcome and how you would know you met the outcome and what are the, the key milestones or you know, markers along the way of the outcomes. Does that make sense? Like, we need a better culture. Okay, great. So if that becomes one of your strategic objectives, then what is better? How do we know it's better? How do we measure it? Because if you can't measure it, you can't accomplish it. If one of my tactics is to, like in the case of sales keep, if we had a sales objective, one of my tactics is to get these three customers to commit to some something, yeah, and I'm working on that, it's not a task. Or if I just say, if I just make up, I think, I think it'd be a good idea if I had these three customers talk to me and you go talk to them, that's more like a task. It's not really in behalf of fulfilling the, you should be aligned with the, the, the situation that you're out to do. Mm -hmm. And so one test of a tactic is it always produces an interim situation that's on the way to the completion of the, of the objective. Mm -hmm. right? And I like, I can think, I think best in, here's what I want, what are the sequence of, that has to accomplish to get there, and then how am I gonna, what tactics am I gonna use to produce that sequence, okay? And you cannot have a tactic you can't fulfill. This is another place where plans can get bogus. Oh, this is planning. Planning is not hard. Most of the people that Jeff and I work with who are executives of companies, who I know are committed to success, uh, they usually have big stakes in those companies, um, resist planning. So I expect you guys resist planning. Like some, there's some human thing about resisting planning. And the plan generally is, I'm going to do this, and then after I do that, I'll figure out what's next. Yeah. And that's not a plan. The, uh, the value of planning is not in that, uh, and maybe there's a cultural misnomer, not in that I'm going to produce the perfect plan, and then I am going to follow it. Right? It's that I'm going to produce the best plan I can, and then I'm going to iterate it. And I'm continuously iterating it. 
But if I don't have a plan where I know that, okay, I'm going to here and then there and then there and then there, and something happens back here, I kind of don't know which way to adjust. Okay, well, I'm trying to get there in three more steps. So, you know, given that, then I'm going to make this kind of adjustment. Whereas I'm just focused on, I got this objective. It's almost like this is an objective in and of itself, right? Or Taz. And I'm out to get it completed so I can check it off, mark it off the list. You heard all these language, right? No, that's not the point of the plan. The point of the plan is to accomplish the objective in a way that takes us towards the vision and the mission. Plans are always changing, and they don't have to be complex and deep and long. Okay, the plan for a for, for a strategic objective. They have to be complete, but they can be shorthanded. You know, they can be an outline. They only have to have enough words that you can act. My plan for 2015 is like half dozen pages, five pages, something like that. You know, but, but it's bullet. It's outlines and bullets and short. And it's not like a whole bunch of, you know, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. I'm not trying to sell somebody on it. It just needs to be something I can act on. And for you guys, it just needs to be something you guys can act on as a team. So every tactic, you need to know what it means <laughs> and that, that, that you slash the organization have the capability to execute that, to produce the situation that is the result of that tactic. And so there are many other elements in the business plan, competitive analysis, marketplace analysis, sales strategy, that you guys may find are relevant to you and one of your tactics may be produce a competitive analysis. And then that would become a bigger business plan that needed that would have that as one of the elements. So we're not producing a complete business plan in our work today. We're producing what must be there before you can <laughs> tackle a complete business plan, which is the commitments to the look at five years out, what's our vision, you know, what's it going to look like, what is our mission that that vision has to be consistent with. Uh, a refresh or refinement of what are our core offers, because that's like, you know, the constitu we're constituting kind of what has to be in place before anything. And then what are our five or six key strategic objectives this year for that, and our key projects, some of which will be tactics and the objectives, and some of which will just be dealing with things that we must deal with. But mm -hmm. so you can have a strategic project that's not really a tactic and a strategic objective. Like HR, you mentioned HR. So trans, you know, transform HR to be X could be a strategic project. Projects are a one-time course of action that are going to enhance us in some way, take care of a concern, uh, produce a situation we need, give us new capabilities we're looking for, or are going to help execute a strategy, or make a strategy possible like that. Right? So you can see like, um, well, there, there may be strategic projects that are distinct from the projects that are tactics within a strategic objective. I use the terms practices and projects. So a project's a one-time course of action to produce a result, and then you know we constitute it, we do the action, we complete it, and that's that, we have that result. A practice is something we're likely to do over and over, okay? do more than once okay, as a tactic. So in sales, you know there, there are going to be sales uh, practices that you're going to want to have for your team, and they're going to do them over and over and over and over. The situations, the customers that will be different each time, but what they're doing and the outcomes they're working to accomplish are the same. Right. That's, that's, that illustrates what practice is. Mm -hmm.